So these are the acrylic beads I'm going to use to do my some of these for my next um, bracelet that I'm making. And of course there's the wire that we use. And like I'm going to be doing ocean kinds. So here's a charm. And there's a charm. And there's a charm. So yeah, we're going to be doing a ocean type. So I've decided on which ones I want to use. The majority of them I want to use for my um, project. Kind of separated them. These are the little gold spacer beads I got too. And those are the rest of them. I might use some of these. We'll come around and see. I really like these beads here these two different kinds they're really neat but I decided to use this one to give a different color in with it not all the same bland color even though I really like these two because they're like marbleized I like the marbleized looking ones for some reason so yeah anyways this is what I'm working on this is my fox cup that I love so much I got it at Walmart last year around um, fall so they might be coming out with more like it I don't know but these are one I'm working with today so <clears throat> we're gonna start off I do however want to figure out like hmm give me a second um, I need two round ends because I figured out with um, these they have to have long ones if you put a bead right across it's hard to loop it through for some reason with the clasp from my other video of where I did this um, bracelet if you remember and so I found out because I had done one before and it was hard because the bead was in the way but this one isn't so I'm hoping that it'll work Good. So, uh, let's start. So, as usual, I, well, you might have not saw my other video, so I use three millimeter wire to do my bracelets with, and I double it for its strength, and I measure by my wrist how long I want it. It's good to have a little bit longer than a little bit short, so I always do a little longer. You can trim down if you're short, then you have to start all over again. It's a pain, so I'd rather do the other. So I'm looping these through like that. And let's see, these I said I was going to put against that to help guide it, hopefully. reason I got the wire the skinny wire like that is some of these have small hose that I use and um, instead of having to make the hole bigger I just did a smaller wire but to me it feels more personalized because they fit me you know and so that's just me no you don't have to do that to do use whatever you would like to use there's clear cord that's stretchy too which I think they'll wear out after a while, the stretchiness, and that's one reason I'll go with the wire. Uh, there is an actual bracelet that it's a wire bracelet, and you just put the charms on, but it's kind of limited of what sizes you can use. And this, you can use pretty much any size, as long as you're, even if it has a big hole, you can put some spacers in between to get it to hold, but you just got to use your imagination for it. So, let's start. I'm... Basically, you just pulling these through, and Okay, I got it that so far. 
I think I'll go with the gold again and put palm tree and actually the palm was not with this charm set the charm set came with these beads here and it came with these uh nautical type see side stuff but the actual palm tree itself came from um a separate thing and it was more like a clip-on type thing but i instead took the clip off off of it and made it into a charm instead how I liked it and put a thing through it and this has opened up the thing about jumps is you got to make sure they're all closed or your wire will go through because it's, it's such a tiny wire that's one thing about it I gotta make sure this is mashed good it just went through so I know it's not there now it's closed and these are called jumps. You put them on to get your tire, uh, your charms and stuff to flip them through. They're little round disc um, that holds stuff. Apparently, I'm really lax because these charms I already jumped before the video actually I guess I should have showed you how to jump them but basically as you open it up you slide your charm in and then you close the circle back but I was very lax and they've got holes and they can fall off which is not good at all um, okay One thing about this is I bought these beads actually on my birthday for a birthday present. This, the $2 one was from Walmart. Actually, all of it was pretty much from Walmart, except the spacers I used at the end. Those are from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has these $4, um, and they're in the arts and crafts section. And I put them in this toolbox separated or compartment box it was also a dollar and it was in the tool side and stuff for your cars it had Ta -da. So that's how it looks like so far as you can see this and then then will be this I always try to have them facing the same way and stuff. When I'm threading them. These spacers, I'm doing all the same, the gold beads, but you can always choose a different color. I 
I just went for gold since the charms were gold. I'm actually more of a silver person. I like silver stuff. But gold's nice every once in a while. Getting ahead of myself. Now then, there we go. here I'm going that way so I need this need another one of those beads. Do we even have one of those beads? The different colors. Let's see. These are all different. I'll look in my other boxes. Mm. Oh, I guess I could use another round one. There's some more. I had the same ones. Um. Hmm. Guess some more of these will, will have to go. Because I do not see this size anymore. In my boxes. I got different kinds, different colors. Walmart, I mean, Walmart carries different ones, but so does the Dollar Tree. And that's where I got a lot of these littler ones from. They make good spacers. Yep. It looks like that's how I'm going to have to play it. Um, so, I kind of, oh, I really don't want to. I want this other charm. Hmm. This is going to be a lot of work, but I'm going to take this all off and start with the charm. Charm first, then that. No, I think I want the little one, like I did before. No, 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 no. That's the thing about doing this is there's no certain way, and once you might even have it um, made, and if you undo it, I've done this before, and then decide you don't like that order, you can rearrange it or add more or less or whatever, and so. Oh, I forgot to put a spacer. Got to talking with no spacer. Mm. I like these beads. They look really um cool looking. I like textured looking ones. Like the cracked, marble looking. I like that. I guess that's a seller for me. <laughs> uh -huh. I 
I think I got that backwards. Oops. Let's fix it. This one's taking longer. I'm because I keep undoing it and fixing the ways that it will hang like this. So that works. So do, do, do. let's get this shave on the road. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> my camera fell. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to the story. Um, we went to Florida for my vacation. And I got this because we went to Cocoa Beach and saw the ocean. And of course, this is not the first time I've been to Florida. My sister used to live in Florida, and I've seen the ocean many times. I think it's very pretty down there. Uh, anyways, we went with my in-laws, and they took me and my kids, and I paid for three days for me, my kids, and my husband to go to Disney, and we saw uh, Disney Studios, um, what is it? Disney Studios, Hollywood Studios, and uh, it actually was the day that they had the Star Wars weekend, so we got to do the the Star Wars stuff, and my kids got their pictures with some with uh, some of the Star Wars characters and stuff, and got to see like a parade of Darth Vader and whatnot and um, got pictures of that and so that was pretty cool and like the next two days we went to the Magic Kingdom and the kids got to ride all sorts of rides and stuff my youngest one Logan he is five turning six in October he actually is a thrill ride junkie of fast rides apparently <laughs> he loves them a lot and my daughter is not so much. She likes the more calmer ones and she likes to look around and see stuff, which is fine. I'm kind of half and half. I really, when I was younger, I thought I would be scared because I used to be scared of heights when I was younger, uh, but not so much now. I got over it, but I used, when I first was going to ride a ride, I thought I wouldn't like it. And when we was at Six Flags, and uh, I didn't think I would like it and stuff and I was very upset that I got to ride but I was like I could do it and so I braved it up and but you know it I really really loved it my first one it was the Chang was the first one I rode and then of course I rode like Twisted Sisters which that's just sitting down in a car but it does twirl you around and stuff and then there was like a Batman ride that we rode and stuff and Later on, I did a, like a needle drop or, or a drop where they bring you up really high and they just drop you all of a sudden. Oh, I love the adrenaline one. I don't know. <laughs> so I, I guess he gets that from me a little bit because I like that kind of stuff. I didn't think I would with how I was, but I actually do like that stuff. So my daughter, she's not too much into it though herself, but we all had fun. And they got to go see the ocean. They've never seen the ocean before. When my sister lived down there, uh, I was, I wasn't a teenager, but I hadn't even got married yet or had kids and stuff. And then, and we never got to go on vacation to Florida or anywhere like that before. So, um, so the kids got to finally see the ocean and they were so happy. And excited that they got to do it and I was happy for them because it's, it's exciting hmm so we're looking at this and I think it's almost done need it just a little bit more There we go. The 
Yeah, that's what I did for my summer. Normally, we don't go on many vacations, myself, me, and my husband, and the kids. That sounds strange, but it's just how it is. We bought a new house, and we're paying, making payments on that, and just this and that. We've always been, you know. And so, I actually saved up and wanted to take the kids, and it took me quite a while to save up to take them. Plus, of actual going, you know, takes a while, so... But my in-laws were very kind and let us bum a ride with them. Because my, my vehicles at the time uh, didn't work so well, which my husband later on got a vehicle that does work. But it's still a little car. Um, it's not too little. I mean, the kids can fit in the backseat fine. Probably another third person could be, too. Um, yeah. They had a timeshare, so we actually got to stay with them, which was cool. And it was pretty decently close by. So anyways, I think that's big enough for my rest. I'll check, but I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. Oh, no. <laughs> that child. Can I say that I'm talking about? Oh, look, that's broke. I don't want to use that. Thank goodness, I saw it beforehand. This is not the ones. Maybe it's this one? Nope. Maybe it's this one? Yep. Let's see. This one is not broke. So yay. Let's see how long this is. so hard to measure. I don't think it's quite long enough for some reason. Hmm. I could just tie it. Just a low tie. Not tight. And see how that works. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Get close as possible. That's that way. Might put this on. And see how long it is. I might need more beads on it. And then again, I might not. Now, it's tight. I should have done that in the first place. Silly me. See if that fits my... fit fine so okay so anyways I'm gonna take this since I've already got it tied and I'm gonna tie it tight pull it tight so it don't untie because it's very aggravating when it comes untied because I've had that happen before and that's why I like to tie this two times at least besides the one tie on the charms but I'm talking about on the you know, ending clasp which mine's a toggle. I've had no luck on toggles. Well, not no luck, but um, not much luck on the toggles. But they were kind of bigger. And these are harder to get in and harder to get out. So it should be, these actually should work okay. I just hope I can get them in on pretty well. But, yeah. I did have lobster class, but it just wouldn't quite working like I wanted it to. I kept messing up, so I just decided on something else. So anyways, here's the bracelet. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way so you can actually see what's going on. The reason I did that is because the bead won't be in the way when we're 
trying to fit it through. I'm going to just go all the way down and ta-da! That's it. Hopefully you can see it good. That is my summer bracelet of memories for me and I got for my birthday so that's cool. It's a birthday card and memories of going to Florida and first family vacation with my family to see and first time my kids went to the ocean, first time we've ever been to Disney. It was a lot of firsts. First time going on vacation with my in-laws. So yeah. Well thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you to uh Oh, my nails. My daughter said she wanted to decorate my nails, and so she started drawing. Um, she's eight years old, Gabby. Gabrielle. Gabby for short. Gabrielle decided she wanted to do my fingers. I'd painted them a while back, and so she <laughs> was doing hearts on them and got to the, this hand, and then she gave up on this one. <laughs> she got sidetracked, which was fine. I have yet to take off the nail polish, but I will. Anyways, I thought it was cute. I just left them on. Eh. When you got kids, you'll know it's just a sweet gesture of something that she wanted to do and I didn't even ask her to, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you have a great day and I hope you like this tutorial. It's hope it was easy for you to see and understand what was going on and stuff. So, thank you for watching. Bye.